Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, to all of my returning YouTube family and friends. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Teresa, and I'm really, really glad that you guys decided to join me today. Today, I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my happy planner for the week of July 10th through the 16th. And... I have taken out some of my prior months here. I've just got uh, May through July going right now. It was just way too thick to work with. So I just took it apart. This was last week's spread. And we are going to be working on this one. So let's take these out. And I am sorry guys, I didn't get this done last night. I, um, after I did my Carpe Diem plan with me, I was watching it back because I always watch back my videos before I upload them and um I was watching it back and I fell asleep guys literally sitting up on the couch and that's how I woke up at four o'clock this morning <laughs> sitting on the couch and my phone was in my lap <laughs> so I was I told you I was just exhausted yesterday and just I could not keep myself awake so um, this week I have decided to go ahead and use my dolphin washi so I'm gonna use those as well as some paper that I cut out from a 12 by 12 paper pack from Walmart and it's called outdoors so it's got like a lot of outdoor scenes um, like from the beach to lakes to um, trees to I mean you name it it's got it on there so and then I also cut a couple pieces of the um, Oh, the um, glitter paper from the Dollar Tree that has the adhesive back. So I cut some of those. I may use those. And then I'm going to use the dolphin stickers that I got in my friend mail. And I figured I would bring both um, just in case I wanted to use extra of the same ones. So I did bring both of those. Um, as far as other washi, I do have some of my glitter in silver and my blues, and then I also have these two, this blue and then this gray. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use these all, but we will see as I go here. So first thing I'm going to do is lay down my paper. And this scene was just gorgeous. Um, so I'm not sure really how I'm going to place it. Um, let's see. Well... I know I want like the trees up at the top like the you know like the because it's a palm tree so I want those more at the top like that Okay. 
Okay, I am going to lay these down, guys, and then I will be right back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I knew if I were to do that on camera, it would take forever, and I didn't want to go any longer than we needed to, so what I did was I just went through all of the squares that I cut and just placed them how I thought it looked more like a beach scene and I love this now I did try with some of the glitter paper and I'm just like I put it here or I blocked it out in these you know like the Saturday and Sunday but I just don't like it that way so we're not gonna use it <laughs> all right so let's get some of these laid down guys Okay, so I was telling you guys how tired I was yesterday and um, how I fell asleep. I literally slept on the couch all night sitting up, <laughs> which isn't really unusual for me. Like, I do sit up when I sleep a lot just because I can actually sleep better in a sitting position. So, like, usually when I go to bed, I just you know like I'll sleep with my um back up against the headboard you know and I've got some pillows back there so it doesn't hurt too bad but um yeah so I slept literally sitting up and I don't remember falling asleep I don't nothing I was still in my clothes um like I said I was watching the playback of my Carpe Diem plan with me. And um, that was all she wrote, because I was gonna upload that and then record this, my happy planner plan with me. And that didn't work out. <laughs> and then this morning, I was literally, I had everything packed up. I had my bag ready, because I was gonna take this with me to Michaela's and work on it while Nolan napped. And um, I was just loading my bag into my car and Michaela texted me and said she called in because she was exhausted. Nolan didn't sleep last night. Therefore, she didn't sleep last night. She said he, she actually got him to go to sleep at one o'clock and then he woke up at again at three and she said he was up until 3 30 and then she got him back to sleep and then she woke up just you know herself she woke up at four couldn't fall back to sleep and then she finally fell back to sleep and around five she said and um then Nolan woke up again and she just got him back to sleep when she texted me and she said, I am just exhausted. She's like, I can't, you know, cause she works on the phones and I know how that is. I mean, if you're on them phones and you're just sitting there, you and you're that tired, it's not good. So she just used a sick day. And I said, well, that's good because I've got a lot of stuff I need to do around the house. And I've got several videos I need to do. So this is going to give me time today and tomorrow to catch up with everything I need to do that I have put on hold, you know, to do things with her. Because I was going to record um, my Dollar Tree haul. Saturday I was gonna record my um, oh my Etsy haul and review on Saturday and everything you know got put on hold because we went dress shopping instead and you know it was something that had to be done it just it I had put it off long enough I hate clothes shopping because I get frustrated when I don't find things that fit me right and um, I start out 
you know, all happy and oh yeah, yeah, I'm going shopping new clothes and by the time I'm done, I am just usually in tears because I can't find anything that fits right and it's just very frustrating for me. So I dread going shopping for clothes. But I couldn't put it off anymore because the wedding is a month away. <laughs> and if I did need something that needed to be hemmed or altered, I you know needed to get it ASAP. So I got it. I'm ecstatic with the dress. I it is exactly what I had envisioned in my mind and um the type of material that I was thinking. I mean, the whole thing. So I am just super, super happy. Um, and it was like the more things I tried on, the, you know, more I just, it confirmed, you know, that that was the dress at David's. So at David's bridal. So but I'm glad I actually went and I tried on several different looks. I tried on, you know what I mean? So I had, I knew 100%, no questions, hands down, that that is what I wanted. You know, and had I just went, oh, this is the one and bought it, and I would have second guessed it. Because that's just how I am. <laughs> so I'm glad that, you know, they pushed me to try other things. And, you know, and I wanted Michaela to be happy with what I had. You know, I just, I didn't want to pick something that she didn't like. Um, I mean, it's her wedding. And I have to keep, you know, I have to make sure she likes things and that she's happy. And that's, you know, it's her day. And I want everything to be perfect for her. And... If that meant I wore something that I didn't really care for, well, I was going to do it because it was for her. And, but she really liked the dress too. There was two that she really liked. One at, da the one at David's and then one at Dress Barn. And the one at Dress Barn was very similar. Um, it was very similar, but it just... It was just a little, she actually liked that one better at Dress Barn, but I just didn't feel as comfortable in it. Um, and I, you know, I just, I made sure she was okay with me getting the one at the Dress Barn. And she said, or at um, David's Bridal, and she said, yes, mom. She said, those are my top two. And if that's the one you like better, then that's the one I want you to get, so... That's what I did. But holy cow, what a day. And that sweet little Nolan, he was with us. And he was just so good and so patient. And we forgot his, well, she forgot his stroller in Tony's truck. And we had her Jeep, <laughs> so we rented the strollers from the mall. They're $5 to rent them. What a ripoff. But we needed something because we couldn't carry him around. He's quite a little heavyweight. And so we rented a stroller, and it looked like a little car. It had a little steering wheel in front and stuff. So he had fun doing that. And um, But he was just so good. And I felt so bad for him because, you know, it's like here he's in this stroller literally for hours. I mean, granted, we started, they picked me up at 1 o'clock and we were back home by 6. So in five hours, guys, we like power shopped. And I'm not kidding you <laughs> when I say we power shopped. <laughs> because she had to be back home and ready for that wedding. And it was like, we got to get going here. 
we were supposed to go at noon, but he was napping and she didn't want to wake him up, which I'm glad she didn't because then he never did um, take a nap. Even on the way home from shopping, we figured he would be out within minutes of getting in the car. Mm -mm, he was still wide awake when I got there at um, 7.30 and he had not had a nap at all. She said he just would not lay down. So I fed him and then bathed him and I let him play for a little bit because he was still wired. So I let him play for a bit and then it was about 9 o'clock when I laid him down um, and he went right down right at first and grabbed his blanket and his bottle and so when I left the room he was snuggled up in his bed and had his blankie and his bottle and then like 10 minutes later I hear the funk because he what he does is he throws his bottle out of the crit out of his bed when he's done and then he started fussing because he was fighting asleep. And I let him, I did let him fuss. And because um, I knew he just had, I couldn't get him back up. He needed to get to sleep. He needed sleep so bad. So he fussed for, it wasn't even five minutes. And then it was just pure silence. And I went and checked on him about a half an hour later, and he was just out, zonked out, never moved. And I, you know, made sure he was covered up, and he never moved. So, and she said he slept yesterday until 1030, so he, he did sleep for... 13 hours but then last night he didn't sleep so and he's been waking up more in the middle of the night which you know he hasn't done that in a long time you know he's usually good at sleeping through the night so I don't know if but since they've moved into the new house he does wake up a lot um, in the middle of the night and then he wants to be with her, Michaela, and he's never done that. And what she'll do, she's so silly. She used to do it with TJ when TJ was a baby. The only one that could get him to sleep was Michaela, and she would literally get in his pack and play with him, <laughs> and that's how she would put him to sleep. And that's what she's been doing with Nolan, is getting in his pack and play with him, and he'll fall asleep because she doesn't want to get him in the habit of sleeping, you know, in her and Tony's bed. So she just sleeps with him in his back and play. <laughs> Michaela, you are crazy. And she's like, well, it's the only way he'll sleep. So, but yeah, she literally gets in his pack and play with him and sleeps. Or at least, you know, gets him to sleep and then she'll get out. But it cracks me up. First of all, that she's little enough to actually get in the pack and play. <laughs> I would get in it and break the darn thing. <laughs> But she loves her baby, so she'll do whatever it takes. And I'm proud of her for not, you know, just doing, taking the easy way out and just putting him in bed with them. And you know, she won't let him. She's like, I don't want him getting in the habit of sleeping with us. It's not a good habit to form. And I said, you are absolutely right because Kristen was a co-sleeper and it was not fun or easy. 
and with Michaela, we never did allow it. Sorry, guys, I had to take a sip of coffee. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the blue dolphins on the top and the bottom and then the gray on the sides. Okay, so I need to trim this and I want to go Pencil go. There it is. Tanya said, if you cut this the long way, it will fit both. So I'm just going to cut it down this way. Give it a try. Let me see how I'm going to do it the way she does it. Because she... And I'm cutting it twice, guys, because I need it for the bottom as well. So, okay, let us see. Because Miss Tanya, she knows how to roll with this stuff. You know what? I don't think she uses the happy planner for hers. But let's see.
Well, that did the trick, guys. I'm telling you, that woman, I just love Tanya. She just... All of them. Her, TT Scraps, which is Tammy. They're all just Robin from Robin's Nest. I mean, I learn so much from those ladies. watch them you really really should because they just they're just awesome ladies to watch and they're just awesome people period and and um, I Truly, truly learn a great deal from them. And yeah, this one I'm going to need a little extra, but that's okay. As long as we get her done. And see how that glue curled this one? That drives me nuts. this side but it didn't the other one which doesn't make sense probably because the other one already has stuff on it on the back side Junky, junky stuff out of the way. And hmm, I'm so excited to use this, you guys. So I have a question for you guys and because I had someone leave a comment on one of my haul videos about the music and she said she loved my haul but I need to get rid of the music It's and then it said annoying or so annoying. And I've never had anyone else say anything about the music. So I just kind of wanted to get 
your guys's opinion if you like the music if it's if it bothers you um, I try to keep it lower in the background so that way it's not interfering too much with what I'm talking about um, so I just wanted to get some opinions from you guys and if it's something that you know I get a lot of people agree on that don't like it I will take it off I'll stop putting it on there but um, it was on one of my recent videos that I did and <clears throat> I honestly don't remember which one, but it was one of the online hauls, I think. I think it was the Joann's and the Washi haul. So I just wanted to get some opinions from you all because you all are, you know, if, if I get more than one person saying, yes, it's annoying, or, I, you know, it's bothersome, um, then I'm gonna take it off. I won't put it on there, but I just need to know from more than one person, you know? So I would just like some opinions. Um, so if you would, guys, please leave me some comments down below. And please don't think it's going to hurt my feelings if, you know, you say it is or whatever, because it's not, guys. I do this channel, you know, not just for me. I also do it for you. And I want to do things that you guys like because, you know, I don't want something to be annoying or bothersome to anyone. Um, I do it just because I feel it just, you know, it's a little bit nicer to have, you know, if there is, you know, empty space, you know, where I'm not talking or whatever, then, um, you know, you guys might like to have something besides just silence to listen to. So just leave me down in the comments, you know, your thoughts and I don't know I guess I just don't understand like people I mean she didn't say it rudely or whatever but it's just like I would never even say that to somebody in their video you know if it's something I don't like or whatever I keep those comments to myself um if it's a video that, or if it's something that I don't like and it's bothering me, I just don't watch the video. I click out of it. I don't leave, you know, thumbs down or nasty, com you know, mean comments like that's annoying or, you know, I don't, I just don't do that. And it just really upsets me that people, and, and not just to me, I mean, it's, I mean, I see it so much on other people's channels, because, I mean, it really doesn't happen with me that much. I don't get a lot of negativity, thank goodness. Um, but I just, I can't believe that people are just so, like, blatantly rude, and I mean, to me, that's just rude. You know, you're not the one that's sitting here taking all of this time making these videos. And I think that's what bothers me or upsets me is, you know, people just don't realize like how much time it truly does take to put out a video. Um, even if it is just a video, it's a haul video. Um, it takes time and it takes, you know, I mean, you're really putting yourself out there 
for people to criticize and I get that, you know, I mean, and that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't bother me, but I just, I hate when I see people leaving comments on other people's channels about, you know, I, I just hate the rude comments from people. And like I said, I thank goodness don't get a lot of that. Um, I've been very lucky, knock on wood, that I have not. And I'm sure I will get my fair share, and everybody does at some point. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. You know, I truly am. But um, I just thought, wow, you know, why would you, if, if it really bothers you that bad, like with me, if, if somebody does something that is annoying to me, I just either don't watch the video or I ignore it because I like that person and I like their content. But that one specific thing may bother me. You know, I don't, I'm just not that person to leave the nasty and rude comments. It's just not me. So I just wanted to kind of get a consensus of how everybody was feeling, you know, if it's something that bothers people, multiple people, if it is, I'm not going to put it out there. Um, so just leave me some input and feedback if you would, guys. I would just love to hear it. Um... So I know what, you know, what my, my friends and family like. And because it's not just about me. It's also about you guys. I mean, I've even seen like people, which just blows my mind. It's like, if you say a word and you use it in the wrong context, like people will correct how they say it. And it's like, really? Are you like the grammar police of YouTube? <laughs> people are just, they just don't get it is what it is. And they don't realize what it takes. And, you know, if they were the ones doing these videos, I think they would have a little more patience with people and not be so judgmental. Because, like I said, I've seen some comments on people's pages and it's like, holy wow. <laughs> And I would just never, I think I'm going to do a mix of the two. And I am going to go with the thin guys. But yeah, it just blows me away. Like some people's comments, some people's channels. It's like, ooh. And I don't say anything, you know, like to that person that left the nasty comment or whatever, just because number one, it's not my place to, but, um, I don't want to start issues on somebody else's channel, but you know, like some of these people are my friends and it, you know, it offends me because it's like, well, if you think you can do a better job. Why don't you do it? Why don't you make your own videos then? And put yourself out there. You know, you're just sitting behind a computer screen being nasty. So I don't 
don't know if you guys can tell, but that just really upsets me. <laughs> I think I might have to glue some of this glitter. Yeah, look at that. It's not. not laying very nicely. So it has been really rainy here the last few hours. It's just like been downpour and storming, thunder, lightning. But I think we're done with it. Just not wanting to stay. Just gonna use my zig here, guys, and this. Stick now. Sorry guys, this might take a little extra time, but I just want to make sure this washi sticks. And these zig glues are just awesome. Awesome sauce. Again, the Zig was something that was recommended by Tanya on her channel. I really get, I mean, she is just like so awesome, you guys. If you guys haven't watched Home with Tanya, she's just amazing. And such a sweet, sweet woman. I mean, they all are. Tanya, Tammy, Robin from Robin's Nest. Just great, great people. And very, very knowledgeable. I 
and Tanya and Tammy both do Stamping Up. So they do like card series on their channels. And oh my goodness, you guys. I am telling you what, their cards they make, holy moly. It just blows my mind, the things that they do. I'm just going to run this because it takes so much time to do it when I do it by the square like that. And your guys' time is precious. I just appreciate you guys giving me your time so often and so willingly it's just truly truly appreciated you guys i just love it and i'm trying to keep up with my comments on my videos but it's getting harder to do so I'm trying to go through every day and at a certain time of day, I will go through my comments and comment on each video. So that way I'm not missing comments um, because, you know, obviously the more viewers, it's, you know, family and members that we gain, we, um, and they leave comments. It's harder to keep up with them all. So I'm trying, hey dad, I'm videoing. No, you're fine. So I'm trying to get a schedule to do comments. So if I don't answer you right away, just bear with me. I will eventually get to it. I'm trying not to let the comments go longer than 24 hours without a reply. That is my goal. That's what we, uh, how I always was at work. Anytime somebody called me or left a voicemail, whatever, I, no matter what it was, I would have a response within 24 hours. Even if it was just to let them know, I've got it, I'm working on it, and I will get you taken care of. <clears throat> So I just wanted to let you all know that with the channel growing the way it is, I will definitely respond to all comments that you guys leave me. And I love your comments, you guys. It, they just brighten my day, seriously. You have no idea what they mean. You all are just the sweetest. And I, <coughs> excuse me, I adore you guys. 
And I know I say that all the time and you're probably like, yeah, right, whatever, whatever. But I truly, truly do. I have created some wonderful friendships with you guys and I love them all. And um, they're just awesome. And it's so funny because like it, it just blows my mind that how... You know, people can have so much in common, and we're all from such different places, you know, and it's like we would have never met had we not had the internet or whatever, but it just is amazing to me at how much I have in common with so, so many of you, and um, it's just awesome, really. And I would seriously love to meet everybody. That would be so fun. Because like there's so many people that it's like, oh my God, they are just like so-and-so. They would love so-and-so, you know, and it's, it would be just so fun. To have like a channel meetup. glue down if they start peeling up okay my goodness I hope the curling goes away it's starting to annoy me <laughs> oops wrong way I think it'll be fine once I actually get it in my planner though. Oh my goodness, you guys, I've just been working away, talking, <coughs> and didn't realize that my camera had stopped. <laughs> so, sorry guys. I haven't done much. I just did the um, days and dates of the week. I put my little, um, 
my little quote of the, the week here. It says, enjoy the moment. And then I did my to-do and then my um, little bullets here. So, <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll tell you what. Ugh. Okay, so I need to put my functionals now. And then we will go on to our decorative. So, let's see. That one needs to go over here. Okay, so I've got my weekend. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this. Ooh. So there we've got our weekend banner. Okay, and then got our trash. Her for my plan with me. I'm going to put her over here on Saturday. And Day ones because today is my niece Selena and Anicia's birthdays. I can't believe they're 21. Holy moly! Unbelievable how it doesn't seem possible that they're 21 and Michaela's 20. It just can't be. There, she's so cute. <clears throat> All right, and we're gonna use my little cleaner today. Oh, wait, that's tomorrow. Today, <laughs> and then we'll use her on. Uh, we're not gonna use her. We're gonna use where'd she go? My little pixie girl. I love my little pixie girls. They're so stinking cute. I am getting hungry. eat in the morning but man I'm my tummy is crawling Okay. 
All right, so we've got those. Now we've got Payday, and I love my little Payday girls. <laughs> Aren't they cute? John gets paid on Fridays. We've got that there. And I need to check my mail today. Run to the PO today. And then I need to mail out. I've got to get that together. So that will do tomorrow. I got some stuff I need to send out to Robin. So we've got that. We've got my weekend banner. due today, which I already paid it. The electric is due tomorrow, and I already paid it. Well, I scheduled it so to come out tomorrow. And then, I think cable is due. Thursday. So we're going to put cable here. And actually, the trash, which I don't think I have a trash, but. Electric water, phone, car, house, and water. Now I'm paranoid, you guys. I keep looking up at my phone to make sure it's still working. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this, and then I can write that in, and I'm going to put it. So I know the trash is coming up soon. So we'll just put it on Friday actually not due until I think the 24th or 25th, but I can schedule it. Okay, so I think we're good there. Ugh. Next week, the 19th is when I have my doctor's appointments. Is when I meet the sleep doctor and then the 22nd? I don't know, it's the following Thursday I meet with the pulmonologist. ready to meet the sleep doctor. I just need, <coughs> I need something. I need help sleeping. I need help breathing. 
Okay. Okay, so I think that's all the functionals I need. If there's anything else, I will put those later. But now let's get to the fun stuff. No, I want to use this guy. I've been eyeballing him. Oh well, come on. my little dolphins you guys Alicia and Shannon oh my goodness thank you I love them I'm gonna put them Put this little starfish. Clamshell right here. Okay, and then we're going to put um, So cute. It's so hard to decide which ones to use because I just love them all. They're all just adorable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I need one over here. <coughs> I think I'm going to use this guy. Jumping through the hoop. Because that pretty much <laughs> sums up my life right now. Jumping through hoops. If you guys can hear my dad coughing, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. I don't know what to do about him sometimes. I think I'm going to use this guy over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just stinking love these. Sorry if I'm moving the table, guys. I just had to reposition myself. I am going to put
<laughs> How cute. I love it. <laughs> How sweet. I feel like I need one right in here. Since I'm not babysitting today, I don't need to put anything there. So I am going to put, you know what, I'm going to move her. Oh, how adorable. Very cute. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. And then if I wanna add more, I can. I almost want, but see, that's going to take away from him. Yeah, I think we're good, guys. Good. I seriously wish I had some paper clips, but I don't. I could make some though with these because I could put some on the put some on um, some cardstock and fussy cut it and then laminate them. I might do that, you guys, because I've got white cardstock, I've got my laminator upstairs, and I could make some cute little dolphin paper clips, and I might just do that. Okay, but in the meantime, we are going to There and then I got this. That's my new little piggy paper clip. And we're gonna put in there. <coughs> and this came from 
my friend mail from um, Alicia. So I'm going to use that in here. Put that there. And then I will write in my things that I need to do. But in the meantime, guys, here it is. How adorable. I love it. So this is my happy planner plan with me for the week of July 10th through July the 16th. And if you guys liked this video, please give me a great big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and you want to see more of my videos, click that red subscribe that's down below. And don't forget to click the little bell that's just above that red subscribe and you'll get sent notifications every time I upload a new video. So guys, don't forget to leave me your comments, questions, and suggestions down below in the comment section. And let me know on the music part, guys. I really, really would like to know. So, um, um, leave me your comments, questions, suggestions, the music issue, leave that down below. And as always, guys, a great big hug from me to you. And look for my Dollar Tree haul coming either yet tonight or tomorrow, as well as my online haul with the um, review for the Etsy shop. So guys, until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.